Well, welcome to Unit 5. We're finally transitioning away from participles, and we're actually moving into... Uh, two different moods. Uh, most everything you've learned to this point has been what's called the indicative mood. Uh, this unit you're going to learn about the subjunctive mood and also the imperative mood. And so you'll learn uh, what that means, how those uh, verb, uh, verbs are formed, uh, how that impacts the translation of those verbs, uh, all those different sorts of things. Uh, last unit, I really encourage you to continue in your study of, of the vocabulary. One of the things I really want to encourage you in, in this unit is, especially when you get to lesson five, you have those translation exercises. So you guys know by this point there's always a video of me walking through the translation uh, after it, but I really want to encourage you to give a good effort in those translation exercises. One of the things about studying Greek now is it's always easy to go to programs like Logos or open up your, Greek, uh, your English translation while you're translating from the Greek New Testament. Those are great resources, and I'm not saying you can never do things like that, but the reality is sometimes those things can be a crutch. And so these reading exercises, you'll notice it's really a participation grade, so you're not getting marked off for them or, or, or marked off for doing things wrong. Uh, so it, easy, it would be easy to slack on those a little bit or not give a good effort, but the reality is the more time you give to doing the translation on your own, the more you're going to learn and the more fruit that that's going to bear for you uh, in your Greek studies even after this class. So I just want to encourage you when you get to unit five, uh, excuse me, lesson five of each unit. I hope it's enjoyable for you. It can be frustrating, I know, because you don't know all the vocabulary words and uh, there's lots of concepts that you may be struggling with. But just continue at it, struggle through it. Honestly, the more you struggle through it, the better you're going to get. So I just want to continue to encourage you there with those translation exercises to really give a good effort, uh, really invest in it and dive into it before you watch those videos. And I think that'll bear fruit and really even make the videos more beneficial for you. So I hope things are going well for you this semester. Again, if you're running into any problems, just want to encourage you to reach out to the professor for this course. I know they'd be glad to help you out however they can.